What is good, Cardano fam? Ada Gang, we have so many exciting updates to unpack today. Charles saying we are number one for GitHub activity. The Department of Business and Trade calling World Mobile the Airbnb of telecommunications. Crazy big events right around the corner and more. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. NFT trading volume surpasses 850,000 ADA this week. I thought Cardano was always number one for GitHub activity, says Fluffboy. Well, at least that's what Charles would say. But we can see here, not even on the first page. Is Cardano still doing things? Is it alive? Is it breathing? Charles responds, we are number one. They aren't tracking the right repos. They moved over to Intersect. This is great because it's putting to calm the concern of development activity, which is bustling. It's stronger than it's ever been. Same with community. But also yesterday we saw with Santiment how we were ranked number three for development activity. Could actually be higher. Take this with a grain of salt, but it could actually be higher and leading the pack with development activity. It's just are the accounts and are we looking at the right places? So this makes sense. They aren't tracking the right repositories. They moved over to Intersect. Number one, the Department for Business and Trade. This is huge, guys. A government administration just called World Mobile the Airbnb of telecommunications. The original post is over on LinkedIn and it's a little grayed out here because I did want to log in. Meet the Airbnb of the telecommunications industry. This analogy, guys, is so huge. Big, big things. And this is a big entity. So while brokies on Twitter are like, why is the price not going up? Why is the price? Like this is, oh, look, new nice. It's just, it's just Yap Inu. Oh, the price. Oh, the price. They can't even afford $9 check mark. Guys, always look at the full spectrum. Always look at the ulterior motives. Um, often the answers are quite simple. Coming back to this beautiful news of being compared to Airbnb, I think it makes sense. Am I surprised? No, because World Moal is a blue chip, multi-chain, genuine real case utility that empowers people, empowers stakeholders, empowers everyone. A resilient network. Telecommunications is so important. Living in Canada, we have the biggest distance between people. And so telecommunications and dead zones and things like things like that are very key. Only recently did some cities actually get fiber optic and there are still big, big rural areas that are not connected, not connected. So this makes sense. What a great achievement of being kind of compared to Airbnb of telecommunications. And Airbnb, as much as people rip on it, has incredible user experience design. And I think part of that analogy is because of the branding and the product market fit. Cardonians, and thank to, uh, thanks to this account for bringing that news to my attention and more, DocuFi 3D de delivered an e-sign platform without Catalyst funding. It's a legally binding blockchain solution for e-signatures and verifications. Pretty cool. And this was a nice, uh, couple of nice tweets here. Official launch. We are very happy and proud to announce that we'll be officially launching our e-sign platform just in a couple of days, Wednesday, August 14th. Cool stuff, good stuff. It just shows you like not always even doing it without the catalyst support. Hey, I commend that. That's some hard work. And finally, I wanted to highlight this. DocuFi 3D complies with the legal requirements for electronic signatures. However, by also recording entities on the blockchain, this technology enables compliance with legal regulations without the need for a root certificate from a centralized third party. Pretty cool, you know? Some of the most important things are the boring things. But often the boring things are some of the most integral. Cardano's number one DEX aggregator, DEX Hunter, has surpassed 8,000 holders. Congratulations. Uh, went over 9,000. <laughs> when it gets over 9,000, we'll have to slap on the, uh, the Vegeta tank. MinSwap, congratulations. Celebrating one month of V2. Here's the wrap-up. 77% of TVL is now on V2. I like that. I like the number seven. Almost 13,200 unique users have interacted with V2. Nearly 60% of the total volume is now flowing through V2 and almost 90,000 orders processed on V2 with nearly 80% being market orders. Wow, uh, great. And they've transitioned quite fast. Like it's not easy moving people from a V1 to V2, but I saw so many times where they've been incentivizing it in a variety of ways and that's smart. And I also really like them doing this wrapped just to see zoomed out infographics of like, okay, you know what? This explains that we see some growth, we see some usage. It's always nice to see this stuff at a glance. 
Another reminder, guys, just a few more days for this colossal, incredible conversation. However you feel about it, it's going to be an incredible conversation and great. Great, especially because we hear that decentralization is the future. We hear that from many people and Cardano is perfect for decentralization. Peanut butter meets jelly. So August 17th, this is going to be a big one, 10 o'clock PST. Speaking of events, 13th and 14th, August 13th and 14th, I will be in, uh, in Toronto at a Futurist, Blockchain Futurist. So if you guys are there, send me a DM on Twitter. Let's meet up. Uh, meet up the Cardano fam and more. So it's going to be fun. Cabana is very nice events, uh, lots of sunlight, lots of fun things to do, a lot of space, a lot of chill, relaxed areas. Really like that event. One of my favorites. This week's updates and news across Mergo includes a partnership announcement with a few, uh, a few accounts here. We have Sonarverse. I took a brief look and they're doing some stuff to help increase clarity and transparency. And they're working with a, a bunch of other projects, I believe. A Nodo Prediction Market X Space AMA session, Asset Tokenization Workshop by Emergo Fintech and Encryptus at Rare Evo. So many accounts or so many projects are going to Rare Evo. If I was in Vegas, I'd be there for sure. Finally, Emergo Academy partners with, can't pronounce that name, University of Banking. <laughs> let's move on to RWA, you know? Uh, RWA, let's talk about some new stuff that C-Swap has been adding. I think I covered them when they add the American Eagle silver coin, if I'm not mistaken. I think they've added a couple of new stuff. Newsflash, Constitutional Silver is live on Cardano. Silver 1921, Morgan Dollar RWAs are now tradable on cswap.market. At the time, only 74 left. C-Swap market, cool stuff, decentralized marketplace. And I see they've added like Pokemon, some Pokemon ting. And this rings a bell when I saw the silver coin. So if I'm not mistaken, they added like a couple of more. Do check them out. All these, all this news, guys, full disclosure, these are not a, like stuff that they're sponsoring me or anything. I just like to bring attention to bullish narratives, things that excite me on Cardano. Because I'm a holder just like you guys too. And so I want to see this, uh, I want to see increased exposure and the exciting stuff uh, come to light. And I think that stuff like this, RWA, you know, marketplaces, there's definitely still a demand for it. How C-Swap is disrupting the real-world collectible industry. C-Swap is using Cardano Tech to create a better way to buy and sell collectibles online. Currently, sellers and collectors leverage platforms created by centralized Web2 companies like eBay, who charge as much as 13% in listing fees. Market participants also have to deal with additional costs such as shipping, storage, and security. Yep, I've been using eBay since like 2007. So I've seen its growth and it's definitely not shy of fees. There's definitely a lot of fees that you have to pay some way, somehow. C-Swap eliminates this friction, creating a liquid market for real world collectibles. For the first time ever, these collectibles can be traded with low spreads, low fees, and no hassle. If this isn't enough by itself, our hybrid AMM order book infrastructure allows any user to be their own marketplace, earning fees on every transaction that takes place in their pool. We understand that these concepts are new to some. We plan to continue educating the community as we use Cardano Tech to solve real world problems and create new opportunities for our users. I like that. I like that sincerity in, in a statement like that. When it comes to C-Swap, nobody can use the tireless old, old argument that crypto is a solution in search of a problem. We are solving problems and putting market making opportunities back in the hands of the people. I respect that. We thrive off your appreciation and support. Early opters meet Adopters mean everything to our team. C-Swap is building the marketplace of the future on Cardano. And you've seen so far is just the start. So I think like there's a role for like these decentralized marketplaces. There's definitely some friction when it comes to eBay. Uh, platforms like this have pretty much mastered UX, UI, customer acquisition. They have all the customers, right? And when you sell something, you need customers who are going to see it, right? Just like how I wouldn't open a Walmart or a garage in like Antarctica. It's all about location and eBay and these platforms happen to have accumulated all of those customers. So it's definitely a complex problem, but they are definitely solving a problem that is desirable. The rest with feasibility and viability, definitely gonna have to figure it out and see how time uh, plays out. But I think that there is potential with platforms like this and there is a demand for RWA. There's no doubt about that. So good luck with the platform C-Swap and many others. Speaking of good luck, I mean, you don't really need luck when you have Zerberus on your side. Zerberus continues to innovate 
Um, I really love what they're doing with security. If you've ever been scammed in the crypto world, fight back with Zerberus Siren. Update alert. With Siren, reporting a scam has never been easier. Share your story and let the community uncover the truth. Every report you submit gets a unique URL like this one, making it easy for others to support and investigate your case. I like that. Uh, a unique URL that you can share with the community because the community is necessary to kind of triangulate what has happened or who is doing what, you know what I'm saying? Together, we can make the crypto space safer for everyone. Your report could be the key to stopping a scammer in their tracks. So guys, never underestimate the power of one. One person can really change a lot. And the more we work together, the stronger this uh, network will be as a whole, like blockchain, safer and safer from scams. Is it, an, is, is it something we can prevent? No, but efforts like this are how we can at least try to mitigate and do damage control. Our network graph shows how scammers operate, giving you insights into their connections. Each wallet in the graph can be explored. You can click on each of these blue links, connected wallets, and explore them in our free wallet explorer. Good stuff. I like that. You can also browse all cases submitted on the Zerber Siren interface. Oh, very nice. Amount scammed, top scam asset, reports process. That's good. This is nice because you know what? This is giving me the vibes of like, you're getting unique URLs. You're seeing stuff on a dashboard. You're seeing the total scammed. It's and, and the more that this happens, logs that are happening, triangulation happening, this is actually gonna do a, I'm, I'm low key very bullish on this platform. Don't let scammers get away. Start using Zerberus today. Explore cases, connect wallets and protect the community. Yes, 100%. Let's take a look at some zesty predictions. A little bit old, they're not too old. It's like a week old. But these predictions, do you agree with them? for price point for ADA or not. Big Pay says, I personally think Cardano is going to have the highest percentage gain compared to any other coin in the top 10. Not too much longer until people realize the narrative they've been fed about ADA is BS. It's true, guys. It's true. Guys, I take a look at all the comments. I take a look at all the replies on Twitter and the amount of like ad hominem just insults to Cardano or the people affiliated to it. I never hear like, objective critique. I never hear civil critique with decorum. Instead, it's just yap. It's, it's just screaming at the top of their lungs. And ironically, the people complaining about price can't even afford 10 buck check mark. It's so, it's so to IQ, you can't make this up. What's more unlikely? Ada in 2021 to $3, which was a 125X from two cents with just proof of stake, wallets, and no smart contracts, mind you, or ADA in 2025 to 10 bucks. The way this is framed makes sense because the local bottom is 24 cent. We've been talking guys how my buying window, I like to buy between 24 to 39 cent. I don't think we're out of the downwards yet. Look at the global situation. I don't think we're out of more fear in the market. There's plenty of that still in the gas, but it's not too crazy to say 10 bucks considering it was almost triple here and there was very little compared to what we have, much of what we're discussing today, even. So I think that that's possible. I like to err on the side of caution. I'm like a pessimistic bull. I like to be a realistic bull. I like to look at everything at a glance. But when I look at it this way, I think that $10 is possible. So let's finally finish up with price prediction. Uh, price prediction, I think that it can easily surpass five bucks at its bull run peaks. I think bull run peak will be Q1 of 2025. Uh, minimum like colder months of Q4. I don't think we're out of this jitter yet of 24 cent local floor. And I will accumulate more if we start to go down. I think we could go down lower. I know some comments were like, what do you mean lower? Like I get bullish if it goes lower, send it lower. Paper hands that. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Guys, we need to have risk tolerance in the upside and downside. Unfortunately, people like this on Twitter, like this, right? People like this on Twitter want 100x to go up, but they don't have downside risk tolerance. They can't stomach it. And it's like, they want 1,000x, but then when it dumps, they want 1-800 Costco. It's just so ridiculous. And again, another proof of these rando bozo accounts, 10 followers, nothing. It's like, don't listen to these people. Listen to people in a way where you aggregate your own narrative and you take a look and you kind of assess it zoomed out. Um, Never just go with one person, like what they're saying. You know, at the end of the day, I like to present to you guys what I find interesting, what resonates with me, 
So be careful who you listen to. Um, can't stress that enough. Can't stress that there's so many like just grifters in this space. I've said no to like tens and tens of projects because I, I don't want to short angry crypto. I, I don't want to uh, disrespect the community. I don't want to abuse trust. That's something that's very delicate for me. And I feel like it's lacking in crypto. It was one of the reasons why I founded Angry Crypto was that too much misinformation in the sense of like diluted projects, projects with no fundamentals. Um, and I think that Cardano is an amazing altcoin and many people are fading it. Most of the time they're fading it because of price. Because ask yourself, would comments like this even exist? Would most of the negativity even exist if the price was up? But often with alt seasons, you need this capitulation. You need that moment. You need that. And we know Bitcoin dominance is high, global search is low. Everything is pointing to, it's kind of really stupid to be bearish right now. Basically, if you're ultra bearish, it's like saying you're dumb without saying you're dumb, is the TLDR. So could it go, go lower? Absolutely, it can go lower. I think that it could, I think the rock bottom, bikini bottom is like 24 cents. So I think we'll play around with these ranges. I think we might go 31 cent, might go a little bit lower. That's what I've been seeing some people calling for, but we don't know what's in store. Summers, the past couple of summers have not been too fruitful for crypto. So I think it's not crazy to think we might bounce around these 24 to 39 cent range for the next few weeks at the very least. But let me know what you guys think. Is $10 too much of a ridiculous price prediction? Is it crazy to think that this could be the highest gain percentage compared to any other token in the top 10 uh, or not? Is it reasonable? Let me know your price predictions and when it will happen. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe. We're almost at 5K subscribers. I appreciate it. Smash that like and I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.